Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of subtraction, specifically how we can use mental math to subtract two digit numbers, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So there's two main ways that we're going to look at for subtracting numbers mentally. These are two digit numbers. First, let's look at place value. So one of the easiest things to do is taking a look at the two numbers. So let's say 73 minus 22. Always look at the ones digits. So if the first number has a larger ones digit than the other one, then this is going to be a simple process of breaking these apart and subtracting by place values. The reason we need this ones digit to be a little bit bigger is because we don't want to have to regroup. So since we don't, we can break this apart because really, Remember the 73 is 70 plus 3. That's how we would look at it with our expanded form. And then this 22 is 20 plus 2. So what you could do is you can break each of these up and subtract in two different chunks. You could first subtract the tens, the value of each tens. So we've got 70 minus 20. And if that doesn't um, ring a bell. You could just think of 7 minus 2 and then we're going to keep a 0 on the end. So 7 minus 2 is 5. So 70 minus 20 is 50. And now I've just got the 3 minus 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1. And there we go. That's 51. And if you want to double check, we could just do it vertically like this. And that's going to be 51. So if your ones digit in your first number is larger than the other one, then it's pretty simple. You're just going to break it apart and subtract by place value. Where it becomes kind of difficult is if that second number isn't smaller than the first one. So let's look at another example. So in our next example, we have 81 minus 16. And you see the problem here. Our ones digit in our first number is smaller than our ones digit in our second number, which means we can't break it apart like we did last time, but we still can break it apart using place value. All we're going to do is we're going to break it apart slightly differently. This second number is going to be the same. We're going to break it apart by place value 10 plus 6. What we're going to do in this first number, though, is rather than 80 plus 1, that's not going to help us because we can't do 1 minus 6. We're going to take, instead of 80, we're only going to take 70. And we're going to leave 11. 70 plus 11 still makes 81. So let's just double check to make sure we got that right. So rather than just taking the ones digit, I took a ones digit plus an extra 10. That's my 11. And then whatever was left, I left apart here. You're going to see in just a moment how this helps us out. So we're going to break apart. And now we're going to subtract 10 digits first. So 7 minus 1 is 6. So 70 minus 10 is 60. But now I could do 11 minus 6. That's a fact I know, and that's going to be 5. So my answer is going to be 65. And let's just double check to make sure I did it correct. 81 minus 16. I have to regroup and see that's what I just did. 11 minus 6. So that's just what I did mentally over here. And so that's going to be 65. Now let's look at 1 final example. And we're going to use a strategy called compensation. Look at this example of 73 minus 24. This ones digit in the first number is just a little bit too small. It's a little bit smaller than the ones digit in the second number. Well, compensation says, let's just change one of the numbers. So I'm going to change this first number. I'm going to add one. And we're going to have to keep track of what we've done. So we're going to add this one. And we're going to say that's 74. Well, 74 minus 24, that's a lot easier because we know how to break this apart. So we can say 70 plus 4, and we can say 20 plus 4. You subtract your 10, so 70 minus 20 is 50, and 4 minus 4 is 0. So it is 50. But don't forget, we changed by adding 1. We actually subtracted 1 more than we needed to. So compensation says, now you take that 1 back, and you're going to get 40. 9. And if you want to double check, we can see what we have here. We do have to regroup, so that's going to be 6, that's going to be 9, and that's going to be 49. 